to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Today's video is in response to my last video in which I created this coastal beach wall decor sign. And if you didn't see that, I will link that video in the description box below as well as at the end of this video so that you can hop on over easily and check that out. But in that video, I had originally created this sign using a faux sand dollar that I created from salt dough. And uh, I had done that because I couldn't originally find the real one that I wanted to use, so I decided to try this. And I asked if you wanted to see how I made this sand dollar to comment on that video, and a lot of you did. And you also commented that you would like to see how to do a, a starfish as well. So today's video, I have the how-to on this sand dollar, and then I have attempted to do uh, two different styles of starfish for you as well. So I hope you enjoy. I started out with a basic salt dough recipe, which is two cups flour, one cup salt, and one cup water, give or take a little bit. Um, I actually am just making a half of a recipe here because I didn't need a full recipe. You just mix your salt and flour together and then add your water and um, mix it until you have a soft dough that's nice and pliable. Once the dough is mostly mixed, I found that it was easiest just to dig in with my hands and mix it all together until I have a, just a nice ball of smooth dough. Then I'm going to put a little flour down on my surface that I'm going to be working on just to help the dough not stick to the counter. And uh, take just a small piece and you could use a rolling pin for this, but I just used my hands, rolled it up, and then just kind of pressed it out in a circle. And I didn't worry about it being perfect because, you know, nature is not perfect. Um, so I want it to look more natural, and I just flatten it out and make a circle in about the size that I want my sand dollar to be. So I just found a reference picture on my phone to use so that I would have this to look at while I'm putting my design on the sand dollar. I'm just using a stylus. You could use a toothpick or another tool with a, a pointy end. And I am just going to make that flower-like shape in the center of the sand dollar just by pressing down little dots. I don't want to just draw it in a line. Um, I wanted to make it have a little bit more texture, so I'm just doing little dots to make those lines to create that flower shape in the center. And this is what my flower design looks like on the center of the sand dollar. Then I'm also going to use my stylus to create the holes in the sand dollar. And uh, my hand's in the way in the video, I apologize for that, but you can see in a minute uh, how I did that. I just stuck the stylus through and then just kind of wiggled it until I had a, a hole the size and shape that I wanted it. And this is what it looks like with the holes and you can use the stylus to stretch those holes out a little bit if you want them a little longer or wider. Then I placed my sand dollars on a baking sheet and then I'm taking a little bit of aluminum foil and I'm just going to roll up a little ball and flatten it out and then place that in the center underneath each sand dollar. And this is going to raise up the center and so that will give it a little bit of a domed shape and not make it lay so flat and that will make it uh, have a much more realistic look. I baked these at 325 for one hour and actually it was a little bit um, too warm I think because they came out a little bit dark. As you can see they came out a little bit brown around the edges and they're pretty brown on the underside so turning the temperature down would probably be best. 
So once they're cooled, you can just pull that aluminum foil off of the back side of them and then I'm going to paint them. To paint this, I used a little bit of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of elephant. And I know you're probably thinking, why this really dark color? But I'm going to water it down a little bit and brush it over the top of that star pattern because I want the dark color to get down inside of the holes or the grooves that I made when I made that pattern. I'm going to take the gray paint and just paint over that flower design in the center of the sand dollar, making sure to get it down inside the holes. And then I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe off the excess paint. Um, I wouldn't recommend using a wet paper towel. You could use a really lightly damp paper towel, but if you use a wet one, it will uh, make this, the dough kind of slimy. Um, and then because I'm impatient, I'm going to use a blow dryer to uh, dry the paint a little bit faster. Next I'm going to paint over the sand dollar using Waverly's chalk paint in the color ivory and you'll notice that I'm being a little bit careful around the design. I don't want to get too much paint over those holes or the, the design uh, because I don't want it to cover up the dark color too much. So uh, I'm more dry brushing over the top of the flower design um, when I have a little bit less paint on my brush and then I can always add a little bit more paint but it's really hard to take it away so uh, I'm just painting the whole sand dollar with the ivory chalk paint. I did do a second coat of the ivory chalk paint over the sand dollar and I did switch to a foam brush and this gave a little bit better coverage especially on the outside of the sand dollar uh, just be careful going over the center of the sand dollar with the foam brush so you don't fill in your design too much when the paint is all dry you could spray it with a matte finish sealer if you'd like and then uh, it's great to use for craft projects or just to display in some type of uh, coastal or beach decor. To make this starfish, I'm going to start out with a ball of dough that I'm going to divide into five sections. And I'm just using a butter knife and I'm not going all the way to the center and I'm just dividing it in five equal sections. Then I'm going to stretch out each section and I'm going to leave it a little bit wider toward the center and more narrow at the end. Once I have those stretched out, then I'm going to just work with it and shape it until I like the looks of it. So once again, I'm using a picture for inspiration and I'm going to add some texture to this starfish. It's not going to look exactly like that picture, but I'm using a serrated knife and so it is sharp. So be careful and if your kids are helping you with this, this might be something that, that uh, you would want to do for them. But I'm just adding some texture all along the top of the starfish and, um, and you can make it in a pattern or just do it random. Once again, I'll be using a little foil ball to put under the center of the starfish to raise that up a little bit. One tip that you might want to try, and I didn't try this, but I think it would work, is if you wanted to use a star-shaped cookie cutter to cut out your dough to get a basic shape to start with, you could do that and then um, maybe kind of shape and, and stretch and twist and whatever to get your uh, starfish to look a little bit more natural like a starfish and not so much like a cookie that was just cut out with a star-shaped cookie cutter. But that might be a good starting place. I just did mine um, this way, but whatever works for you, I say go for it. 
Once again, I'm using the serrated knife to add some texture and lines and details to my starfish. I also decided to try making one of these finger starfish, and these are the skinnier, longer starfish. And so for this, I used six balls of dough that were equal in size. For the center ball, I took and made a detail design on the bottom of it. I made a just a circle with my knife and then I did do designs on the bottom of each of the little fingers of the starfish and really you can skip this step because once it baked it just kind of baked together and you really couldn't even see the design so uh, you can just start with your center ball for your starfish and then I'm going to take the other balls and just roll them between my hands to roll them out to make um, each point of the starfish. If your dough is a little bit dry and it doesn't want to stick together, just take a little bit of water and uh, put a little bit of water on that and then press it together and that will help bind it together. And once I had all five of the points on there, I decided to put a little bit of water on each one and then kind of flatten that center ball out over the top of each one of those points to um, kind of make it look more like just one piece and not uh, not six different pieces. So this picture of a finger starfish shows that there are a bunch of just little tiny holes all over the starfish. So I'm just going to take a toothpick and poke it into the starfish all over the surface of it. Once I have the texture looking like I like it, then I'm going to put them in the oven and based on my results last time, I decided to just go with 200 degrees and I started with an hour. I actually then turned them over and did them for another hour. It just depends on the thickness of your dough, how long it takes for them to get completely dry. Now that the starfish are cool, I'm going to paint them. And this starfish, I'm going to first paint with a tan color acrylic paint and um, I decided I didn't really want to do like the orange color in my picture uh, that I was using for an inspiration but uh, I wanted more of just like a sandy look so I'm using this tan color and then I'm going to dry brush some ivory paint over the top. So once the tan paint was dry, then I took a brush and some ivory chalk paint and just dry brushed right over the top uh, just to highlight those raised areas. And I was uh, going for more of just a muted natural look um, on this, but I don't know, maybe if I had painted it a different color, I would have liked it better, but I honestly didn't love this starfish that much. So um, it was okay and I'm glad I tried it, but I, I really like the finger starfish that I did better. For the finger starfish, all I'm going to do is paint it with the Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. All of the finger starfish that I saw pictures of, they were just like a pure white. And so uh, this was really easy. I did water the paint down a little bit and I didn't worry about getting it down into the holes. I liked the way that looked better to actually have it not go down into the holes.
So here they are finished and like I said, I do like the finger starfish better than the other one but there's two different options as well as the sand dollar. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.